A common thing that I deal with working with contractors and tradesmen is understanding job profitability. Job costing is vital to really understanding your business's performance and ensuring that you are pricing yourself correctly, ensuring that you are making the most money that you can and that each and every job is actually profitable and being able to make finite little tweaks to your process to ensure the business is running at an optimal position. Today I really want to go into discussing with you what is job costing and more importantly what is kind of involved in job costing which we will do over the next several weeks in a series that we're working on for you. The first thing we really want to discuss is what is job costing? So often I see companies really job cost a little bit, maybe they'll job cost their materials, maybe they'll job cost a little bit of the labor, but they're not really diving into everything that you can job cost. Because in fact, when you're doing a job, there's a lot of different factors. In addition to direct materials and in addition to direct labor, you've got the taxes involved in that direct labor. You've got indirect labor involved with that, the benefits of the direct labor that you have working on that job, and then the overhead of your business that is being run. I like to focus with my clients on really understanding all portions of basically business operations and how it affects the profitability of a job rather than just the material purchases that they are going through. So when we're talking about what is job costing, I really like to take it a step beyond just materials and a step beyond just labor and ensure that we're able to understand entire business operations and how it affects a job's profitability. The next thing that we really need to discuss is if job costing is right for your business. There are certain businesses out there that job costing just really doesn't make sense and those are going to be the ones that really focus more on a service-based situation where you're just going out and servicing HVAC units or you're just going out and providing maybe cleaning services to a client. It's very difficult to provide job costing or do job costing in those instances because of the materials, how the materials are being used and how short the time frame is that is being utilized there. So to determine if job costing is really right for your business, first it's a personal question. Any business can really do job costing, but you really need to understand is it worth your time as a business owner to do that job costing? And more importantly, how much data do you have to provide that job costing? In general, I see a lot of installations for HVAC, electrical, plumbing, and GCs doing a lot of job costing because they're long running jobs, they're big ticket jobs that we really want to understand the exact impact of everything going on with us. But when we get into more of the service side of HVAC, when it's a one hour service call or maybe a no heat, no cool call where you're just refilling Freon or something like that, it's definitely a situation that's a little bit more difficult to do job costing there. I always tell any business wanting to do job costing that you need to determine what data you have to do the job costing and then determine the time involved to collect that data and to input that data to get accurate job costing. You need to weigh all of that into the benefits of the job costing. A lot of times with service-based industries, a general overview of the business with your gross profitability in a properly set up set of books is really gonna provide you most of the same information that job costing could. So where I generally see job costing utilized is gonna come from a installation, large ticket, big build jobs that go on for either a whole day or even multiple days or multiple months depending on the contractor or the situation that we're dealing with. So now that we understand 
Well, what is job costing and what all can be involved in it, and more so if it's right for your business, why is job costing beneficial in the first place? And that almost sounds like maybe a stupid question, but a lot of times people look at really just the fact of did I make money on this job? But job costing really goes beyond that from did I make money on this job to more so what how much am I making on each and every job so that we can then go and dig a little bit deeper, dig a little further into everything and say, okay, if I want to grow my business and each employee can do this much in work in a given day, this many jobs in a given day, and I typically make this much money off of each job, and this is my end goal for what I'd like to make. By going ahead and understanding what our profitability on each job is, we can understand and figure out how many employees you need, how many jobs you need to be given, the average ticket you need to be doing on your jobs to meet those margins, to meet those goals that you set for yourself. So job costing really helps us understand our profitability, to help us with growing our business, to help us with reaching the goals, reaching the desires that we have set for ourselves, and allowing us to go ahead and business plan for the future on everything that we want to do in that area. Job costing also helps us fine tune our pricing. Any business getting started in any pre-existing business should really be analyzing their pricing on a semi-regular basis. Maybe not every single job, but at least a handful of jobs maybe 5% of their jobs, 10% depending on the size of your business, to ensure that you are pricing correctly. We can take a look back at really the past two years, and I've seen so many increases in material cost over the past two years, where material at one point pre-pandemic may have only cost increased in cost once a year, maybe twice a year. Sometimes it wouldn't increase at all for a year or two altogether. But now we have seen over the past two years where there would be material price increases on a monthly basis. Sometimes even every week with certain clients in certain areas of the country where they were having a hard time keeping up in making these changes. So they were actually leaving money on the table because they weren't following how much their business was changing. They weren't following how much their costs were changing and they were leaving leaving a little bit of money and becoming slightly less profitable, even though they were doing the same amount of business. So doing job costing, even if you're not job costing every single job, allows you to double check your pricing and ensure if you've set this specific margin that you'd like to work with, that you're sticking with that margin, you're staying with that margin and continuing to hit that margin every single month, every single week, so that you are able to really reach again the goals that you've set. Every business should really have not just a why I'm operating standard, but goals financially that they want to meet. And by understanding your finances, it helps you to make sure that you're meeting those goals. And job costing is a very granular aspect of understanding your finances. So being able to understand Really, the pricing on your jobs and the profitability on your jobs is a huge reason to utilize job costing. We also want to make sure when we're job costing that we're not making too much on a job. There are certain areas that are kind of industry standard for how much we're bringing in because we want to make sure we're staying competitive in your area and with your competition because you can be the most expensive out there, which is great if you're providing a premium service. But we also want to make sure your pricing is competitive and you're bringing in enough jobs to meet those goals without pricing yourself out of the market. So job costing allows us to also go back and look at whether our pricing is competitive, whether our pricing is really following exactly where we had planned for it to be, to ensure that we're going through and working with our competition correctly there. Long term, when we're talking job costing, a big thing you need to determine as a business owner 
is what jobs are you gonna job cost? I've got clients that will job cost every single build that they do, every single installation that they do um, with their clients because it's something that's easy enough for them to do. I've got other clients that while they want to understand their profitability, they don't have the resources or the time to be able to devote to that. So as such, maybe they'll just job cost two or three jobs a month, 10% of their jobs. I'll have clients even in the services side of their business job costs two or three jobs every single month just to ensure that they are properly following the services of everything and so we really want to understand what is it that we're gonna job cost and that's again really a personal question it comes down again to how much time you have to devote because as we go through this series, you'll realize you'll see the data that you need and be able to determine how much time you have to devote to setting up these job costing standards. While job costing can provide a lot of data, job costing is something that should be added on after you have a solid understanding of your business's financing and a solid setup of your bookkeeping and accounting. Because all job costing is, is a more granular breakdown of your company's profit and loss statement, providing a profit and loss statement or an income statement for each and every individual job rather than a company profit and loss statement as a whole. I'm really excited to talk with you about this series as we go through it, and I believe it'll be a lot of fun to do it. Join us next week as we go ahead and we start talking about the documentation requirements that you have or that you will need with job costing.